Hello again, everybody. It is the coach. You're tuned in to Madden 19 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a great one on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Detroit Lions. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Seattle Seahawks and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. It's an early test here after two losses to start the season in a game they probably really need. Obviously, no way do they want to get to 0-3. Not many teams make the playoffs with that kind of a start. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Seahawks, it's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They'll be led out by the man who proclaims to be from a whole pack of Badgers. Came into the league back in 2012, Russell Wilson. We're not even a quarter way into the season. He's already off to a pretty nice start. NFC Offensive Player of the Week in last week's game. Yeah, week two, he was electric. Let's see what week three has in store. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Illegal block in the back. Offense. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They run it with Carson. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. As you and I both know, one reason teams script plays to start a game is so they can practice them ahead of time. I will guarantee you, that fumble was not in the script. You don't think they had fumble written next to play one there? No, that was never in the script because they want to have good memories when they go into a ball game, not something that could have gone wrong.
Following the fumble recovery, it's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. Looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 32 that time. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Now it's Carson. Got some real estate inside the 30. The numbers on the ground for Carson last week. Very productive. Three touchdowns. Two of them on the ground, one through the air. And it will always be a compliment to say that a guy's got a nose for the end zone, and he sure had it last week. And there we see an early burst that makes him one of the leading rushers in the league. Well, I want you to know, I listened to you yesterday when we were watching film. You said right down the word vision for him. It was on display there, wasn't it? It certainly was, because he allows the blocks to set up in front of him. And if that continues, it'll be a long afternoon for those guys trying to play some defense. And here's the starting offensive unit for Seattle. The wide receiver Tyler Lockett continues to improve as a route runner and a playmaker downfield. But let's not forget, his main use, kick returner. Knows how to break open a game in that area as well. Now Wilson on second down. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. In for the score. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. The tight end can kind of be that diamond in the rough secret weapon that you have, and right there they show you why. And it's becoming less of a secret, isn't it, partner? Every game that we do nowadays, the tight end is a featured receiver, not just a blocker, as in the days of old. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. Get to the football. It's blocked. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. Leading the charge at quarterback, the former Georgia Bulldog, Matthew Stafford. And I saw that he had an interesting quote in the research packet that we had after last week's game. It's all on me now. I've got to lead my team and find a way for us to win a game. 0-2, oh but they're at home. I guess he's going to try and find a way to get the home crowd involved early. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now it's Stafford. Caught here by Conley. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. When you lose that kind of yardage on a pass play, you often expect it to be a sack. But that wasn't the case there. They completed the pass. Probably would have been better off just dropping the football and making an incompletion as opposed to catching it and losing that kind of yardage. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. And now the offense for Detroit. Golden Tate is a dream for a play caller as a wide receiver because you can use him all over the field. Use him out wide, bring him into the slot, circle him into the backfield where he can take handoffs as a running back. But the key part of his game, run after catch. Usually one of the top players in the NFL in that statistic. Third and long, it's Stafford. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Now it's Lockett. It. 
Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. Last week, over 100 yards, three touchdowns. We were talking with him on the field before the game. He said simply, I was in a groove. He obviously was. And I think he's been a little modest about that, being in a groove. That's a big-time game right there. And I think he feels like his entire team is coming along with him because they're creating spaces and holes for him to run through. He's making people miss, running through tackles. They are locked in in a big way and confident about this game as well. Right back to him on first down. Finding room to the 20. And all the way down to the 5. All told, it's an even 30 and a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. An inaugural trip to the red zone here for the Seahawks. They've got it first and goal at the 6. Dancing to his left. Toward the pylon, caught. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. So that's the rookie's first trip to the end zone. And I think it's safe to say one he'll always remember. Oh, without a doubt. That one is going to be imprinted forever. And nowadays, we're seeing rookies make a greater impact at that position at receiver than ever before. I think mainly because of the sheer volume of footballs that they catch in college. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Kelly. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. The starters defensively now for the Seahawks. They were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. Have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw. They ended up getting four sacks in the game, stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire time, made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. And that's what they told us this week, that pressure on the QB is key. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. Again, this is Kelly. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. They only got a couple on that one, so not a ton of help. They'll have a third and eight forthcoming. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these fans make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Five yards on the pickup, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Returnable for Lockett. A big kick, 50 yards that time with a return of four. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Hey, tempo, tempo, tempo. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. Got some room at the 30. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a bat's having a great game, You've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Second and 10. It's Wilson again. Flushed out right. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. One quarter down. It's the Seahawks on top here early. We're back to the Motor City after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon hits the Seahawks with a football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. He's got his tight end on the corner route. It's complete. A good pick up there, a 22. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Steps away to his left. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. That's why you've got your star out there. Throw the ball to him. They did. That's simply saying we don't care what coverage you put out there. He's so good. We're going there with the football anyway. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Inside the red zone, they go to him. He gets it done. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? They'll hand it off to Kelly. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Illegal block in the back. Offense. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Here's Stafford now on second down. Able to find Shaheen here. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now got a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. In on the stop, it was the UCF product, Shaquem Griffin. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. The Lions on third down. Just one for three thus far. This time, it's third and three. They'll try to run for it with Kelly. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. And with the day he's having, as we look at some of these highlights, Maybe he wants to duplicate this pregame meal next week. Whatever it is, guaranteed he will ask for the exact same thing each and every week as long as he continues to run like that. Sometimes it's that simple, partner. Yeah. I said, you, know, and you know how superstitious these guys are. Oh, there's no doubt, right? If you put your left sock on first and you have this kind of game, you'll keep doing it. In this case, 
Let's investigate that pregame meal. We might need some of that. <laughs> yeah, right. It's working. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. He'll buy some time right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. Got a man. It's caught at the six-yard line. From the shotgun, Wilson rolling to his right. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, you need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Touchdown, Seahawks! That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Now the extra point. Touchdown! Extra point splits the uprights, and a route is on here in this first half. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Stafford now to throw. Over the middle. That's caught by Taylor. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, Detroit. A big play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions are able to draw a bit closer. Now the try here for the point after. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now down to 20. Martin the putter now out to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because... The way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football. But how about his use of legs as well? What we call those broken plays, you can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm really of how he can hurt you. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. 
It's a big play there for Seattle. 48 yards. Tell the truth, partner. You didn't think he was coming down with that one, did you? Come on, tell me the truth. <laughs> no, I did. I'll tell you what, though. A one-handed grab of that length. Talk about giving your team a little juice. Oh, big time. I mean, everyone's going to be excited about that one, whether you're on the field or not. It permeates its way through the entire team, and I can't wait to see what they do on the next down. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. Play action. It's Wilson on the move to his left. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson now with four touchdown passes on the afternoon. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but... They need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try to mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Here's Stafford. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at it, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field. So he put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Now a first down throw. Stafford. He's got the hookup with Conley. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. And welcome back, the offensive unit. They took the timeout, and now they get set to line up as we resume action. Stafford now... 9 of 11 passing in this first half. He's got his guys at first and 10. Uh, Stafford. And this will be a dump off for Keller. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. The Lions into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 at the 19. Set, lady. From the red zone now, Stafford. He'll leave it for Kelly complete. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. Call it a gain of five. And that'll make it second down. It appears they found something that's working, and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And able to find Conley. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Stafford looks to throw again. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. 
They'll give it to him up the middle. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. So we've come upon halftime with the visiting Seahawks. They're out in front as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL on this first official weekend of fall. So let's get to it. We'll start our tour out in the city of Angels, Los Angeles. And it's the Rams who are out in front as those teams approach halftime. Jared Goff with three touchdown passes. Next, let's stay in Southern California. We make the short hop down the 110 to Carson to check on the Chargers. And at this point, they trail the visiting Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson has a touchdown pass. Finally, let's get to the country music capital of the world. See what's happening with the Titans at home in Nashville. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Arizona Cardinals. 16-14 was the final score. In our game has been Russell Wilson, who was dynamic, as usual, in that first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken to the back of the end zone, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do really that? doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Second down, here's Stafford. Over the middle, complete. That's Taylor. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Lions on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This time they face a third and two. This is Kelly. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively, and it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. Now we'll see what this Seahawks offense has in store with their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. On first down, Wilson escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to throw it back deep. Over, and got his man complete. And all the way down to the 39. It's a big hook up there. Wilson to Baldwin. 42 yards. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Wilson being chased out left. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Tease Tabor. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 
If they needed a break, they needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break. Taking the ball away. Now they just look offense. at their offense and say, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. The false start backs them up five, first and 15. They'll run with Kelly. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. They get the penalty yardage back plus a yard. Six-yard gain, and it's second and nine. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. To throw on second down to Stanford. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Well, it's like that at just about every position. And sometimes if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Skirts by him at the 35, and he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Now, nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And out will come the offense as they take over. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. Really solid effort for him right now. Third quarter, already four touchdown passes. How many can he get here? That remains to be seen, but I know one thing. You and I will be here to watch, and I'm not going anywhere. With what he's doing in this contest, I'm not, I'm not missing a minute of it. This guy's been spectacular. Yeah, I mean, it's a team game, but sometimes these individual performances are fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes they just kind of come to the front. Despite the fact, as you said, we know it's all about the team. But the way he's playing, he's trying to make his team win on his back. Yeah, it's been exciting. He lets it fly for Lockett. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way down to the 26. A big play that time for the Seahawks. 41 yards. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. To throw again is Wilson. Out to his left. And he slings one that's incomplete. Trying to get that one to his tight end. And they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone and throw into the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Wilson will throw again. Forced out to his left. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson punching it in from a yard away. And the Seahawks are running away with this one. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Set, this is Keller. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. Monday, Monday, Monday. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 
And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. The first down carry here for Johnson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 more on that one and another first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Stanford. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. So they had the big loss on that first down pass play and facing a second and long. Four down, four down. Set. Back to throw, Stafford. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Taylor. And he'll get it down here to the 43. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, as this game continues to evolve in the NFL, well, you know how much coaches love run after catch, but you know what they love even more? Completion. Yeah, just holding on to the ball. Catch it, cover it, tuck it away. Whatever you get after that is almost gravy. That's how a lot of these receivers are being tough now. And Tate's got it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And that one good for 16 yards and a first. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. We used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but you're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this. When he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Stafford now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Eight, four down. Set. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Chris Conley, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden the secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. And on the carry is Kelly, and he'll be stopped up at the line of scrimmage with a flag down. Let's check on the call. Holding offense. can see this quite a bit on running plays when the guy's out wide. A lot of times, though, it doesn't get caught. You're exactly right, because it's away from the play usually, so a lot of it goes undetected. But I know this will surprise you. I coach some receivers in the offseason. We work a lot on hand placement and block. And a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Brad McDougal. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll attack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. 23 yards on the play. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Buying time to his left. It's caught inside the 25. And he is able to take this way down into Detroit territory. It's a big hook up there. Wilson to Baldwin. 45 yards. From the red zone now. Here's Wilson on first down. Dancing to his left. And his throw is incomplete. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Well, had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. 
In for the score. And the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. So another score there. Often you talk about the three phases of the game. Defense, offense, special teams. It's been a clean sweep in this one, hasn't it? It certainly has. They've been pretty dominant throughout this game. And privately, the head coach will add a fourth phase. That's the coaching, and he'll tell the ownership that as he tries to negotiate a new contract off of this win. They are looking strong here in the fourth quarter. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Shaheen, the tight end on the right side. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays harder to move it. Throw taken in by Taylor, left side. He had their lone TD earlier. Now he's got a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Able to find Shaheen here, and he'll get it down to the 47 here. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice gain right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Stafford looking to throw on third and one. Throwing for his running back. He's got him complete. And he's got this down to the 35. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Throwing to Stafford. Over the middle, the tight end Shaheen with it. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's Stafford now on second down. Setting up the screen to Kelly. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Time for a break. Back to finish it off on EA Sports after this. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Stafford going to come up first and 10, and he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Out left to Shaheen. That throw good for four. It's second down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Stafford. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Nazair Jones in there to get him for what will be a loss of 13 yards. Third and long, it's Stafford. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Facing this fourth quarter deficit, felt like they had to throw the ball, and on the other side, they were ready. No doubt about it. They're playing situational football. They look at the clock, they know the lead that they have, and all they're doing is playing pass on every down. Playing the pass, picking it off, and now big time in the driver's seat. Now he'll let it go deep right side. 
And that's caught inside the 30. Come on, let's go. It's a big play there for Seattle. 49 yards. Oh, Wilson going to throw. Steps away to his left. That's going to be caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 23 yards on the play. They go play action here on first down, eluding the pressure right. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. When you get your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. That's put up or shut up time. Defensively, nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. Being chased out left. And give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this will be a dump off for Kelly. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Gets his guy out in the flat. And so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice, safe throw and a good one. Second and ten, Stafford again. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 30. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation. But sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. So first and ten now from the 30. Wilson wants to throw it. Sliding out of the pocket. He lets it fly from Lockett, and it's incomplete. They're still throwing to the very end, but now this game is over. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Seahawks, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll head back home next week to take on the Houston Texans. Meanwhile, for Detroit, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to Lambeau to take on the Packers. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody. Thank you.